the eve of a brand new EBSA Premiership season and coming to you live from Supersport Studios in Randburg. We are building up to another exciting edition of the continent's most celebrated league, the EBSA Premiership. Hello and welcome to the EBSA Premiership Preview Show. I'm Julia Stewart and for the next 30 minutes I'll be joined by stakeholders from the PSL and EBSA. We've got some new members of championship winning side Mamalodi Sundowns in the house and a super sports superstar analyst to give us his predictions on who those contenders will be for the coveted EBSA Premiership title. But first, here's the big news for the 2018-2019 EBSA Premiership season. For the past 11 years, ABSA has helped turn dreams into opportunity. And that opportunity into beautiful reality. ABSA remains committed to the beautiful game. Celebrating the supporters with passion in their hearts and strength in their songs. Marveling at the skill and flair of the players that inspire us all to get things done. In a league that truly represents African nacity. The ABSA Premiership. Live and exclusive on your world of champions, the brand new logo for the upcoming EBSA Premiership season is unveiled. Wow, a new look. We're going to hear more about it from our guests in studio. There's also a new hashtag, Africanacity. It's a fusion of the words African and tenacity. But why don't we hear from the man who's at the head of EBSA sponsorship, Ntunzi Jonas, and also a representative of the PSL, Professor Ronnie Schloss. They join me now. Uh, welcome, gentlemen. Hi, Julia. Great to have you in our new studios. Welcome, Prof. Hi. Welcome, Mum. Thank you. Do you, you know, how are you going to welcome me? <laughs> <laughs> great stuff. Great, great start to the evening with the two of you. Mtunzi, a new look. We've seen it. looks fantastic. What is behind the change? So the logo had to be simple because our future is digital. The, the reality is that fans are going to see it on their phones. So a high degree of simplicity is required. If you look at digital brands like Facebook and Twitter and Uber, the reason they work is because they create instant recognition without having to read too many words. Now the circle represents infinity, which is a direct expression of our business purpose, mm. to bring your possibility to life. Mm. Fantastic explanation of the new look. Now last season we saw the Wars and Azo campaign rolled out by ABSA. Uh, Prof, just from the PSL's point of view, we know another busy season is ahead of us. Tell us a bit more about the PSL, the ABSA Premiership fixture schedule, but also the PSL's views on that Wars and Azo campaign. Well, I think firstly, I must say we had a most fantastic season last year and the year before. So <laughs> what's going to happen this season is <laughs> anybody's guess. Um, <laughs> The APSA Premiership really last year was fantastic and this year, phew, wait and see. <laughs> and the 4th of August is the kickoff. And what games have we got on the 4th of August? And interesting, we're going to have two teams that played each other last week. Mm. Yep. Meeting again. Mm. And new coach. Pizza with his team in Africa, one eye in Africa, one eye in, in, in Epsa. So fantastic. Pirates, hey, everybody's thinking. They had a fantastic season last year, started off. And what about the new boys on the block? Hmm. That's what I want to know. What about the new teams? Because you mentioned uh, that fixture between Mamelodi Sundowns and Kaiser Chiefs. So I want to look quickly at uh, that fixture that's coming up on the 4th of August. It's the first game um, of the new season and it's the only fixture at 3 p.m. But what about the new teams? Well, we Highlands Park oh, going in and Black Leopards. Now, what they're going to do is anybody's guess. I, I haven't seen them play this year. But everybody's waiting in anticipation. And um, Highlands Park have picked a hard one to start with. <laughs> they 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 have. Pirates. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, Saturday night, in fact, people can. Saturday night, you've got a fantastic time. Chiefs playing Sundowns. Sundowns, sorry, Sundowns playing Chiefs. And then on top of it, you, after that, you've got Pirates playing Highlands Park. Well, first you've got Cape Town City and Supersport United. Those games are the ones we're bringing to you live on your World of Champions. Mchunzi, pick up uh, from Prof in terms of the Warzanazo campaign last season. What were some of the highlights? And also, what can we expect this season? So last year, we challenged fans to bring it on, to bring the passion, to bring the energy, and to bring the excitement to the Abs Premiership. And they certainly did. We created 10 rivalries across the country, and TV viewership was up across all, all 10 games. Stadium attendance was significantly up across all 10 games. Now, going into, into the following season, we want to build on the good work that was done last season. And we've got some exciting stuff that, we, that, that, that we've planned, and we'll be rolling out from uh, in the next month. You must be uh, delighted that we're kicking off with that fixture that Prof was talking about, Kaiser Chiefs up against Mamelodi Sundowns. On Sunday as well, there is the um, KwaZulu-Natal derby that uh, we just showed you. We're also showing it live on Supersport. I'm taking a look at some of these visuals here, and I can see the red zone. Um, I can see that uh, we had people meeting and interacting with yeah. legends. One of them, Stanton yeah. Fredericks, is an analyst here. So what can they expect this season? So we're going to carry forward a lot of the, the things that worked last year. We, 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 we interacted with over 10,000 fans across multiple activations at shopping malls, at university campuses. You know, we, we were really happy with the, the interest in, in the Red Ticket Zone at the Absa Premiership. And excitingly, we are building on last year's campaign. This year, we're challenging fans to bring their voice. We want to bring the singing culture back to the Absa Premiership. Oh, wow. We want fans to leave the Vuvuzela at home. We want fans to come and sing their team songs. We want fans to really bring their voice and create that phenomenal atmosphere at the Absa Premiership Games. That you see at, at stadiums, some of the stadiums already, that culture's back. Well, we want to feel that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, one of the things that uh, Pizzo mentioned at the PSL Awards was uh, thanking the fans for leaving the Vuvuzelas at home. And we certainly want to hear the voices you spoke about Africanacity earlier, and singing is inherent to us as Africans. We sing when our team wins, we sing when our team loses. Mm. So the challenge again is wazanazo and bring your voice. Mm. Bring your voice. Ntunzi, great fixture to start off the season. Mamelodi Sundowns against Kaiser Chiefs, two of the teams uh, that were right up there last season. Is that all that's happening on the opening day? No, not at all. It is a great fixture. For the first time, we're going to have an opening ceremony before the mm. game. Really exciting. We've got an amazing show that we've planned. And it's all got to do with getting fans to sing. Uh, we're incredibly excited about it. It will be broadcast live. And uh, all I can do is encourage fans, if you can't get to the stadium, certainly tune in to the opening ceremony. One thing you didn't mention, which I felt was a highlight of last season, yeah. was the Kick for a Million campaign. Imagine, just by watching football, yeah. you could actually become a millionaire. And Absa made someone a millionaire. You changed someone's life. Here he is, Stephen Choker. You changed his life. Tell us about this competition, the success of it, and what can we expect this season? So we had over 5,000 entries into the competition. Wow. And we certainly retaining it. It will be back. The Kick for a Million competition will be a key part of the ABSA Premiership was and as a campaign for this season. And to be honest, we're looking for the next millionaire. Mm. You've got to be at the game. You know, you've got to register. You've got to take part in the Kick for a Million. Stephen did. It changed his life. What we've also done is we're going to run a social media competition where there'll be one entry reserved for someone to go straight into the final to Kick for a Million Rand. Prof, are you going to enter Kick for a Million? Oh, definitely. <laughs> and I'm going in for singing lessons. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. The ABSA Premiership and ABSA's new campaigns for the season. Uh, we have a challenge to the fans to bring your voice. Hashtag Africanacity. Why don't you hashtag Wazanazo and hashtag ABSA Prem and tell us your thoughts on the brand new logo. Before we go to a break, Prof, do you want to say something? I think... The start of this new season, with all these new initiatives, the, the end of the World Cup, what we watched at the World Cup, let's see us bring that back into South Africa. Mm. Let's see the fans in their thousands rocking up and singing. Yep. And we, 
apps are paying for singing lessons as well. Up there. <laughs> <laughs> They're also going to pay one lucky fan a million rand. Come May, one of you could be a millionaire through the Absa Kick for a Million campaign. Was and Azo, we're building up to the new Absa Premiership season. We'll be back with some new Mamelodi Sundowns players. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the ABSA Premiership launch show. Before the break, we heard from ABSA representative Mtunzi Jonas, the head of sponsorship. He spoke about the fact that the Kick for a Million campaign will be back. We unveiled the new logo for the new season as well and spoke about some of those fixtures coming up. The first one, which is quite big, including Kaiser Chiefs, sees the champions, Mamelodi Sundowns, in action. And here to talk to us about their journey to Mamelodi Sundowns are new recruits. One of them comes all the way from Cape Town City. The other ones come a lot further. I traveled a little bit longer to get here. Please welcome Lal Lakay and Andy Lejari. Welcome, guys. Oh, thank, thank you, Julia. Thank you. I try to get them to sing for their coach. It's his birthday today, so it'll have to do with me saying happy birthday to uh, coach of the season, Pizzo Mosimani. Uh, Jali, let's start with you. You played here. You won the ABSA Premiership here. Then you went to Belgium. Uh, you've played there for some time. Now you're back home. What influenced your decision to come back? No, you know, uh, like last season, I was watching the games most of the time last season. I saw how the league was competitive in the, in, during the league season. So I saw how... How nice football is it in South Africa? <clears throat> Sorry, again. So I said to myself, let me go and compete at home because I want to win things. In Belgium, I was not winning anything. So I said to myself, now I'm coming back home. This is the trophy that I want to win again. Mm. As I won it when I, was, when I went overseas. You're talking about uh, how competitive the league is. So I want to know from you, how's it changed from when you played here since you've been watching it? <laughs> no, the change of, of pace and, uh, and the players, how determined they are now, how they are working on the field. Can you see even the, the season before, Sundowns, when Vets won it, Sundowns were second, it was the close one. And even last season, it was the close one. So I think it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. It's a good shot that not every team that is winning the, the, same, the same league in the, every season. Great to hear from you. Let's hear from Lal. Now, Lal, you were at Cape Town City last season, also involved in all the hype of that new team, getting the fans back into Cape Town Stadium, the culture they're building. Now you're joining a team that has won the ABSA Premiership, that is expected to challenge for it every season. Tell us how the transfer came about. What influenced your move to go to Sundowns? Um, to be honest with you, I think every footballer in, in, in South Africa, if you hear Sundowns come knocking, you're not going to think twice, you know. And uh, it was during the holidays, uh, uh, I just got, I think it was about three, three or four, three weeks ago, I got a call from my agent to say that uh, Sundowns are interested, you know, there was other interest. And when he told me about Sundowns, I said, why not, you know, uh, uh, they won the league, they uh, African champs, mm. I mean, former African champs, you know. So when he, when he called me and he, and he told me the interest, I said, why not, let's go ahead with the thing and then, yeah, the rest, of, the rest is history. Just taking a look at your goal against Chipper United. I'm sure that's getting Sundowns fans riled up for what they can expect for you, from you in the coming season. Now, you've been, Sundowns have been very successful, as you mentioned. You pointed out some of the things that they've won, of course, that big um, African Champions League. What do you bring to the team? Um, you know, every coach, he doesn't, the coach doesn't just sign a player. You know, he, he, there's obviously something that he sees in the player. And, for me, I think my, my quality and my strength is my, my technique, you know, and my, my engine to go up and down the field, you know. Like he said, he wants to play me left back and left wing, you know. I can play uh, uh, in the front three and at the back, you know. So I think uh, 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 I'll bring that more, I'll bring more balance to the left side, you know. Even with Langerman also competing, it will, it, will, it will push him also a bit more, you know, and Zulu. Obviously, that's also in the same position, you know. So the competition will be good, and I think the, 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 the competition between the three of us would be good, and hopefully, yeah, we, we, we can compete. Andile, just to pick up on what he said about the competition in the squad, what's the atmosphere like? No, it's good. It's good. As you saw, as you saw the last weekend mm. when we were playing as Chiefs, the, the team, they changed the team that was playing in Africa, they not as a new team. So you can see everyone wants to fight, and everyone wants to play. So it's a good thing. That when you, as a coach, when you see players doing like that, when you change them, then you see the new team when is coming. They do what they did last week. 
So it's, it's a motivation for everyone in the team. Exactly what does it take, Lyle, to prepare for an ABSA Premiership season? What is the pre-season like? I mean, we see you playing those friendlies, but what's happening behind the scenes? Uh, you know, the main thing, I think it's, it's all, it all comes down to hard work, you know, how much, and how much you want it, you know. If you believe and, 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 and tell yourself, look, we're going into this to, to the season, we, we, we're going to go all out, we're going to work for it. It's like what coach always uh, 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 means in their training. We're here to win things. We're not just here to play and, and, and stuff like that. We're here to win, to win things and, you know, if you, if you work hard, you will reap the, the rewards by... I mean, it, it showed, it was evident last season, they won the league, you know, and how far they got in Africa. So, yeah, it all comes down to hard work. As you mentioned, they are the defending champions. Andile, you've won the league and then gone on to defend the league. You know how difficult it is to play as a defending champion. What exactly will it take? Because I'm sure every team out there is now looking at Sundowns as the side they have to beat. Yeah, it's obviously everyone is looking to beat Sundowns now. As you know, our squad is, we have a big squad and we have, we have quality players, so everyone wants to to play against us so it's a good thing that even not us we know what you're going to come through in the the whole season so we have we have to fight because mm. if we don't fight then there's nothing that we're going to get at the end of the season mm. but if we fight then we'll get it again so i've got to let you guys go now because i know there's a small matter of a match coming up um on the continent but i've noticed something on your jerseys have you seen this now yeah so what we've got, and Dile, if I can just Look. ask you to turn, is a brand new gold encrusted white and red to so the ABSA Premiership uh, badge. <laughs> and only the ABSA Premiership champions will be wearing this. It's the first time it's been no, done. only sundowns. <laughs> <laughs> only Mamelodi yeah. sundowns yes. will be wearing it this season. That's the, on that one. That's the only sundowns. <laughs> it's the first year that it's being used. It's another new innovation from ABSA. So Jali thinks sundowns will be champions once again. I'm sure that the Mamelodi sundowns fans will be too pleased to hear that. But let's hear predictions from one of our super sports, super disky, Star analyst Jimmy Tao is in the house looking dapper as always. Jimmy, you've felt what it's like to lift this trophy. You've gone the league season and come out as a champion. What's that like? Look, I must say first and foremost, uh, a rebranded product. Hopefully it will have better results, uh, better football in the field of play. And before I even get into it, I just want to wish the, uh, Lyle and, and Andy all the best in the upcoming season. Hopefully they'll be able to add a lot of value to, to, to their respective club that they've joined. Hmm. Their club is one that everyone is expecting to be right up there as the challengers. Who else do you think? Look, I think um, it, it makes it very interesting for all the teams coming to the season because you can see that there's been a lot of movement in terms of players coming in and out from different clubs. Uh, the preparations, a lot have done them uh, behind closed doors. So by the kick of the first game, we'll have an idea as to how balanced the teams are and if they really have to reinforce their teams. Uh, but sometimes I think for me, they come into this season knowing that there's a lot at stake. They really need to, to show the mental that they have. They've signed quality players once again. It shows their intention. And every other team, I think, has done that. Pirates has, been, yeah. has also gone into the market. Chiefs has done that also with uh, players like Kama Billiard coming on board. Um, so I think all the teams are really gearing up to, to make this a very exciting season. We've got two of the top transfers in the house, Lal Lakay and Andy Lejali for Mamelodi Sundowns. You've mentioned Kama Billiard. He's gone, of course, from Sundowns to Kaiser Chiefs. Who are some of the other top transfers? I think um, based on how the media has, has portrayed it, I think for me, obviously, Andy Le Lyle and, and Kama Billiard at this point in time uh, are highlighted as, as the signing of the season. Brilliant Kuzo to Orlando Pirates. There is also one signing that we are yet to see what he's got to, to offer at this new club. Uh, so every player, I think, looks forward to a season because it's a new opportunity once again to redeem themselves and, and, and show the, the, the potential and the class that they, they are going to, to obviously contribute to their teams. And uh, I think with what we saw last season, we're hoping that uh, this coming season will be much better. Because we saw one of the most exciting ABSA Premiership title races in a long time. It seems to get closer every season. Last season was an example of that where we didn't really know which way it was going to go. Do you think it's going to be more of the same this time? Look, I think it, it augurs well for the league and all the stakeholders, in this case the supporters, because it keeps them very intrigued. 
it keeps them very interested and hopefully we'll be able to see more numbers uh, filling the stadiums to make sure that they support their respective teams because I think the product itself can only get better once all the stakeholders come together and I think the supporters also have got a huge role to play um, and I'm happy also that APSA have come up with another innovation again to try and lure the fans to come to the stadium so um, having said that I think it's, it's a daunting task for everyone. It's just an exciting season to look forward to. And we'll have to see what all the teams have prepared. Very quickly, Mamelodi Sundowns play Kaiser Chiefs in the opening game. What about Chiefs' new coach? Um, look, um, it's not a new environment in terms of South Africa as a home. He has coached previously at Free State Stars. Um, he knows what is expected of him, coaching a club like Kaiser Chiefs. That is uh, pressure by itself. And it's going to be a jam-packed uh, uh, season also for him in terms of the expectation, the pressure. He's inheriting a team that hasn't done well in three seasons. So uh, the pressure is there. The fact that he took up the job, it means that he's, he believes that he's up to the task. We'll have to see what, what Chiefs have got to offer this season. A cracking start to the season on the 4th of August. You can watch that game between Mamelodi Sundowns and Kaiser Chiefs. There's also Cape Town City and Supersport United. Newcomers Highlands Park have a tough one. They take on Orlando Pirates. And then there's that KZN derby that you can also watch on your World of Champions. All the action from the EBSA Premiership will be live on that opening day. Jimmy, just your final comment. I know there's Sundowns boys looking over our shoulders, but who do you think <laughs> we're will not, be... We're not intimidated yet. <laughs> Who do you we are think happy will, to see them, yeah? Who will be the champion? It's, it's very difficult. Um, it's it's going to be a very closely contested one, once again. As I said, the fact that the teams have gone into the transfer market, it shows the intention and the, 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 the desire to obviously win. Sundowns need to make sure that they defend it, but Chiefs won't give, make it easy for them. Pirates, uh, Verts, and every other team. Highlands Park coming back into the season. Uh, uh, Black Leopards also. Uh, so there's, a, there's a, a breath of a breath of fresh air within the league itself. And uh, we'll have to, to, to see what all the teams have got to offer. So at this point in time, I'm not really uh, prepared to put my head on the block. <laughs> but I can only wish all the teams all the best of luck into this new season. <laughs> Great safe answer from Jimmy Tao. You can catch him on your World of Champions. We will be here for the opening ceremony, a first ever in the EBSA Premiership on Saturday, the 4th of August. Don't forget, kick for a million, bring your voice, and you can follow the action live on your World of Champions. It's the EBSA Premiership 2018-2019, and it gets underway in a week. For the past 11 years, ABSA has helped turn dreams into opportunity. And that opportunity into beautiful reality. ABSA remains committed to the beautiful game. Celebrating the supporters with passion in their hearts and strength in their songs. Marveling at the skill and flair of the players that inspire us all to get things done. In a league that truly represents Africanacity. The ABSA Premiership.